principal ma'am, all the faculty members, and our August alumni of VC Bhagalpur. I will take more than three minutes, so please excuse me because I want to do justice with uh, you know explaining my experience because it's very hard to summarize 30 years of experience in three minutes. Right, so. I want to do it the right way, so I'll keep it to five minutes, so please excuse me for that extra time. So, I would like to summarize my experience in four letters, A, B, C, and D. What I am today, I'm, I'm proud of what I have accomplished today, and this would not have been possible because, because without the foundation that was built here in this campus. When I came to this college, probably 29 years back, as a young mind, energetic mind, probably aimless, probably not enough know how of where to go. It, it was a long journey to say the least, right? But with, with, with the right coaching that our teachers provided and some of the teachers are still present here, uh, Professor Sasan Sekhar, Ranjana Ma'am, R.K. Chaudhary, uh, Sir and uh, Ken Ram Sir, they were there when we, I was a student and I owe all my success to the tutelage they provided during that time and it would not have been possible. So I am really, really thankful and indebted to you, sir, and I don't think even in my lifetime I can even pay back 1% of what I got from this college. Now, before I talk about the students, um, I want to talk a little bit about the alumni meet. We talk a lot about alumni to alumni. We talked about alumni to PCE, means our students. There is third element of alumni meet, which is alumni to community. So it's A to A, A to B, and A to C. We have achieved a great deal of progress in alumni to alumni. We, because of the social media, because of the connection, we are now much more united. So alumni to alumni element is, I think, on a good path. Alumni to BCE, means alumni to students. I would say we have just started, we have more to go. And the reason I am saying that because after graduating from this college, I had an opportunity to do my MBA. And when I see those alumni meet, when I see those connections, those networks that were built between alumni and students, we see we have a lot of ground to cover. So my appeal to the students is, and it hurts me, and I am very, very frank, so it hurts me, that we have around 50 alumni here and almost 50 years of working experience on an average every alumni. So in this hall, we have 2,005 years of experience and we don't have the students to take advantage of that. It hurts me. And I'm gonna probably address that, but that besides that, alumni to community is one area I think we should also focus on because as an individual, as a citizen of you know this society, we need to pay back to this community which has given us so much. So that's one area, be it local service, be it doing some health camps. There are multiple ways we could connect ourselves to the community. So there is a lot of work to be done on the alumni to PCE, alumni to students, and alumni to community. And I'm ready to sponsor any work on alumni to community if that becomes an initiative. Very good. Now coming back to uh, the students, right? So after graduating from this ramparts of great you know, college, engineering college, which gave us enough knowledge and foundation and equipped us enough that we can go and achieve anything. It didn't, us, it didn't give us everything, but it gave us enough. So it's like you know, initial momentum that you got. After that, whatever you do, it is up to you. So there are four, you know, rules, and it's based on my life learnings that I want to share from this podium, right? So it's four commandments, A, B, C, and D. A is attitude. You need to have a positive attitude. Positive attitude, not just about your, not just towards your family, towards society, towards your classmates, because that's very, very important. Because it's just the beginning. You have a long way to go. When you go into corporate world, this is attitude that matters. Right? 
and and that's that that that's very very important. If life throws a lemon at you, make a lemonade out of it. That's A. B is believe in yourself. Never let yourself down. Be a big dreamer. I'm I'm where I am today because of the big dreams. If you ask me when I left this college, did I have that dream? Probably not. But then, as I grew my in my career, I said no. This is not where I want to be. So you have to have a big dream because there is a documentary in Netflix. If you get a chance to, uh, you know, you can watch. But it says the attitude and belief, what you have and what you think about, that manifests itself in what you become. So it's very very important that have a belief in yourself that yes, you can do it. Right? The third piece is C, which is collaborate versus compete. We all feel like there are 10, you know, only vacancies in this role. I have 30 students here in BC Vagalpur itself, and we start competing. Don't be a short race horse. Think about a long term. Because in a corporate world, once you go and start working, short race will not work. So always have a long term goal in mind and no instant gratification. It can get you started, it can get you somewhere, but it won't reach, you won't reach till the end where you want to. Kisivi corporate world may if you go, collaboration is very important. How you work with your team. Because if you have a competitive mindset, yes, you should have. Because if you want to excel, you have to have that. But at the same time, not at the cost of your team members, you know, your working relationship. Because in today's world, teamwork is given more weightage and more focus because that's where the, you know, if you have a good teamwork, if you have a good collaboration, that, you know, output is very different than what you do it on your own. So that's competitive versus collaborative. So you have to be collaborative with your team members and, uh, you know, and to, to grow, right? The last piece is D, which is determination. There is no substitute in to that. So you need to be very determined what you want to achieve and that will get you there. Now I told all this theory, right? What does this mean? And I'll share some of my experiences. So when I say T, when I joined this college, there used to be few societies, few clubs, right? Debating society was one of them. I came from a very, uh, you know, a Hindi medium normal school. I was able to understand, but I could not speak. I was not able to communicate. So, during the first year, a lot of these clubs will, uh, you know, put their uh, ads and say, hey, you now if you want to join this club, please come and give a, either, uh, you know, come and give a speech or give a, you know, do a debate, and based on your performance, you'll be selected. So, when we joined, there was a debate going on, and I had a big fear in mind, should I, Again, or should I not? Because I don't think I'm up to it, and I don't have the right skills to do it. Because there were, you know, students from, you know, English medium schools. They were very fluent in English, and literally, I, I was appalled. Like, right? how could they speak so fast and so fluent? And I, I was literally, you know, very, I won't say demotivated, but at the same time, I was thinking, I'm not there where others are. So that was my weakness. So how do I convert that my weakness into strength? If I not convert that weakness into strength, at least convert them into a level that doesn't remain your weakness. Right? So I said no. I will make sure that I and how do I do that? I said, you know, for the communication, if you have good English, then you can get into MBA. I said, okay, let I, I took that as a challenge. I dreamt that I do my MBA. And I learned. And I spent endless nights learning vocabulary, practicing English. I got some tutelage from Sasang Sir and his father, who is no more, but I still owe him a big, big, big uh, thank you for, for what he taught us. Sometimes your strength can itself become your weakness. Because you are so overpowered by your strength that you don't work out, uh, you don't work on your weakness. And then you just focus on one thing. 
today's corporate world is global. It's a virtual world. If you want to grow, if you want to excel, you have to be a jack of all. That's the reality. You could still specialize in what you like, what you want to do, and become a you know expert in that area. But there are other softer aspects you need to equally pay attention to if you want to, you know, if you want to uh, become uh, you know successful in life, right? Now, how do you define the success? Success is not always the end result. I would have failed because I took a good challenge, and I would have failed. I would not have done. But it's the constant determination that you know pushed you hard, that pushes you hard, that drive that you are what you are. So, I would say. You know, have a positive mindset, be open, and give your best, believe in yourself. And success is not always the end result, it's the journey that you go through. It's the intent you take to at least, you know, try to reach that journey, that path. Because that's so fulfilling, after you get the success, you look back and say, that journey was what I am today. I'll say one small snippet of college, uh, you know, hostel life here. Uh, we were in third year and uh, back then the power situation was very bad right? and we used to have two or three days of gap between two exams. We all were young, nobody cared so there was no power after the you know, last exam and we said okay, everybody was, no, and it was hot, it was in May, nobody wanted to study because it was hot. So one day and typically we stay, you know, study last one and a half day, first one and a half day goes in just enjoying celebrating your exam go for watch a movie come back sleep uh, you know till late in the morning and then you start preparing for the next day so we went to the principal house at 12 o'clock in the night the entire college 120 students uh, of our batch we went uh, you know uh, to primary and uh, to, uh, to principal's residence and uh, we knocked their door the security opened the door and you know the principal sir i think it was Nirmal sir was the principal back then why the students are here? Say they want to cancel the exam. He said, no, the exam will stay as is, scheduled, no cancellation. Now, if I look back, we lost one and a half day, and at least the entire evening, just planning about how to go to principal sir's house and request for that cancellation. If I reflect back now, if that we would have spent that one and a half day studying that paper, probably would have got 10 percent higher marks, uh, you know, uh, uh, in, in that exam. Very positive. So, so that's that's where you have to think about your life and uh, take those life experiences. So, thanks again for taking the time and bearing with me. Again, thank you very much. And. Uh